Hey everybody. So today we've been talk so in this so this week we've been talking a lot about social pol policy and policies that affect our institution. Um so I thought I'd talk a little bit about a kind of like a state preferred training and policy that we have as well as like what's kind of been going on with the school system that I work in. So there's this training um that is state preferred called um it's called crisis prevention and it's non crisis Nonviolent crisis intervention. So, like, we learn a lot of techniques about, like, um, trying to de-escalate situations and using open communication and body language to, like, prevent tensions from rising. And we um, also, like, there we do learn holds for if it does escalate to a violent situation, but all of our holds are non-violent, so, like, they're just to prevent more violence from happening. And it's the state preferred method. So everybody who works in behavioral at the hospital, um, the, our local hospital is trained in it. We are trained in it in the when we work into the school district and the school system from Priestly Mental Health. And there's actually been some recent controversy with somebody who came in from a different. He, this person is from a different state, but they came in and got a high position in the school system. Um, just to keep it vague enough. And this person decided that he didn't like the state preferred method of training and is having the school trained in something else and also not allowing us to use the trainings that we have, even if it does escalate to a violent situations with some of our clients, it actually happens frequently. And so that has caused a lot of policy issues between the school and between us because we have not been invited to participate in the schools, um, in the school's training that they are specifically doing. And it's been, it has been frustrating because it has led to a lack of ability for us to do in our, things in our job that are necessary because we aren't, we don't know what the school wants us to do and we aren't allowed to use the state trainings. And it also puts our um, workers at risk in the school with some of our clients because we're not allowed to use, utilize what we have learned and what is state preferred. And so I would say that that mostly has the most impact on our agency right now and the population that we serve. And so, um, and so, yeah, that's, it's been kind of fun dealing with that situation at work. Um, so hopefully that gets figured out soon. I hope it does because I've been certified in the state training and I know that people at the hospital have similar concerns, especially their behavioral specialists and such who work with like, um, people who have, um, like, um, like who are, who have a disability or who have had that kind of, um, those experiences with the hospital and work with their staff also. And so it, yeah, so hopefully we get that figured out. But I thought I would talk about that as a policy that's relevant and how it's like impacting us. And we're just not able to do what we used to do before and we're not nearly as effective. And things don't get calmed down nearly as much either. And this was also like a lot of people in the school were trained in this too. And so these people who were trained in this have been asked to just not renew their certifications. And have and then we had a lady from the school who trained us in it. And she is not allowed to continue teaching it um, and has asked that her certification expire as well. And so it's going to be really interesting to see how our town, who's, you know, who's done the state preferred method for so long, is going to transition with this new training that we don't know much about and that we haven't really been invited to. So thought that I'd just vent about that a little bit. So thank you all for watching. Bye.